Nice. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Monster bring you guys another video guys today's video We have a lot of new information for you guys guys this information that's going to be read to you guys on screen right now is going to be insane now first off we're going to be covering the new weapon that they added to fortnite battle royale and after this video if you guys want to stay tuned to the channel guys get ready because i'm going to try and find it in a lobby and try and bring you guys the gameplay as quick as possible but besides that guys we have a whole bunch of new stuff like the patch details like we have all these new patch updates that we're going to go over but the good thing i know a lot of you guys are here for is for this one right here the new cosmetics that are added into the game guys what does this look like the bright gunner is the male version of the bright bomber which is Say it. everyone loves the bright bomber skin and they never release it back into the store so they have a male version so i know a lot of you guys that are watching this you're gonna want to cop this while you can so guys stay tuned we're gonna be talking about how you guys can actually get it for free and everything like that but besides that only some people will get it because it's going to be a giveaway we also have a new meteor strike coming to fortnite battle Royale. there's more clues and we're gonna cover that stuff soon but first off let's start off with the patch updates and everything like that <clears throat> and courtesy to fortnite intel they have all the information over on their website if you guys want to check it out i will leave a link down in the description below so you guys can actually read this for yourself if you don't want to watch this video but for those of you that are watching this video we're going to cover everything and explain exactly what everything means so patch notes version 3.6.0 is bringing the clinger grenade which is basically a sticky grenade and the minigun changes and more so epic games have released the patch notes version 3.6.0 featuring the new clinger grenade some changes to the minigun and more here they are so we have the clinger grenade which this is stick it to your enemies and score the victory rail find this new grenade in floor loot supply jobs super llamas and treasure chests you guys it, it's really cool because it's got the theme of freaking fortnite battle royale i mean it's a grenade on a plunger i mean it's just very cartoonish it's very funny and i love it i mean i love the the whole thing about it it's a sticky grenade so it's going to be a lot better than grenades in my opinion i always love sticky grenades because wherever you throw it that's where it hits you don't have to worry about how it bounces or anything like that so it's definitely going to be a good grenade and then it tells you the stats on it you guys right here it's a rarity it's uncommon you can find it in floor loot supply job super llamas and treasure chest uh the explosive delay one attached to targets is 2.5 seconds so once you attach it to a target 2.5 seconds and it blows up which is actually kind of quick the player damage is 100 so if you don't have shield this is going to kill you guys so this this thing is actually very strong um i think the normal grenade is the same thing but still 100 damage is a lot when you actually think about it because if you don't have any shield if you have only 75 health this will kill you instantly which is insane because you, you'll you'll never see it coming like it just literally sticks and boom explodes so structure to damage is 200 its radius is one tile so basically if you guys put a floor trap or a floorboard down that's one tile just that one little square area is one tile max stacks you can hold 10 of them in your inventory and when you pick it up you pick up three of them so it's it's pretty just like much like the normal grenades but it's a sticky grenade uh stick the grenades to your enemy and wait for it to explode after a shot duration cannot explode in the air which is really cool um so that means you cannot throw it and then it explodes in the air it has to impact something and then it'll explode so you got to make sure that you actually have your thrown down like have hold down r2 so that way by the time it shows the arc you can exactly see where it's going to land it will cling to any surface or player hit so it sticks to players too holy crap right here it says will cling to any surface or player hit which means it sticks to players so you can stick it to a person which is insane man you're gonna get sticky grenade kills and it's gonna stick somebody which is that there's no way out of that man you can't build or anything to get out of that you're literally just screwed um will detonate early if a structure it is attached to is destroyed so basically if it's on a wall and someone shoots the wall with a grenade or something like that it's going to basically blow up right when that wall gets destroyed so you can instantly detonate it as long as you time things perfectly uh reduce chances to finding remote explosives and treasure maps by 40 percent so i think those are the c4s uh they reduce it because i did find it a lot in treasure chests um but reducing it by 40 percent means we're not going to see them that much anymore which is a good thing because i definitely want to see this rather than freaking the the c4s in the game but they did a minigun adjustment as well they increased the accuracy by 10 percent decreased the recoil by 10 percent and increased damage from 16 to 17 from epic to legendary and 18 to 19 so that means the minigun is basically better they they buffed the minigun it's going to be a lot better than how it previously was they also greatly improved hit registration of long range sniper rifles and crossbow projectiles 
projectiles. So I guess um, the hitbox is a lot bigger, I guess, on these things. Uh, I think that's what it's saying. I, it's improved hit registration. So maybe maybe a lot of the times when people were shot from super far, they would not hit their shots and they're like, what the heck? So I think now it's easier to hit your shots from farther away. Uh, it should actually connect this time. Port of 4 improvements. Guys, Port of 4 tires no longer grant falling damage immunity after players bounce on them which means you guys you cannot bounce on the tires and not take fall damage if you guys don't know ninja did a clip with this and then everyone started doing it in order to save themselves it's actually cool i actually like the feature that you were immune to it you didn't take fall damage but they took it out because i guess it's not part of the game like it's not supposed to be like that so it makes sense that they took it out port of fort tra trajectories preview preview now indicates if it will build with stilts and ramps so that's pretty cool so basically the if you hold r2 and it shows exactly where you're going to build it it'll tell you exactly how it's going to build if it's going to have ramps or if it's going to just be flat surface because sometimes there's hills in the game so they have to have ramps and stuff like that in order to make it actually work port of four projectory now turns red if aimed too high does this mean you can't just throw it straight up in the air and it won't build that's what i'm thinking when i read that but it should still work i don't we'll have to see in game about what that looks like now we're going to cover the bug fixes guys this is a lot of things that people actually have issues with within the game so i'm glad they're fixing some bugs within the game so they fix a collision issue with the port of four tires that allowed down players to hide in them okay so a lot of people what they were doing is whenever they were down they would literally go inside of the tire so you couldn't see them so they fixed that issue where you're not going to be able to hide in the tire anymore they also fixed an issue where some machine guns e intermediately failed to reload i don't think i've ever experienced that they also fixed an issue where cozy campfires healed for more than more than a second than intended i've never had that issue or i never noticed that so i think they were healing a little bit longer than they were supposed to fix an issue where red hit markers wouldn't show when the rocket launcher dealt damage didn't know that was an issue the red light on a remote explosives can no longer be seen through doors okay didn't know that was an issue fix an issue causing uh consumables from loot llama supply jobs to exceed the maximum stack size in a player's inventory okay so i guess people would get like more than 999 wood i think i mean that's what it sounds like which i've never had that happen some people i guess have had that happen before let me know in the comments if that's ever happened to you i've never seen it happen and i've never had it happen to me now we're going to cover some gameplay fixes within the game guys short fences will no longer block you from building structures this thing is huge you guys you guys know when you're like sitting there trying to build a little one by one square box around you and there's a little short fence right next to you and you can't build it right there or someone's shooting at you and you try to put up a fence but they have that little baby tiny fence there that you can't build on top of now you can actually finally build on top of it and you can save yourself which is good because this is an issue that i've experienced so much and i was so tired of it uh first shot accuracy is now reset crouch uncrouch or switch weapons okay so you can actually do first shot accuracy a lot more often now which is really good because first shot accuracy was actually very helpful players now spawn closer to their squad mates on the starting island okay that's good on the starting island because whenever you and your teammates want to dance and stuff or troll that's that's really good because i hate spawning so far from my teammates and having to run all the way over there to see something move the groups of spawn points on the starting island to be closer to one another okay supply drop balloon health has been adjusted based on playlists this makes sense solos it's only 500 damage to destroy the balloon for it to drop duos is 750 squads is 1250 which is important because i mean it makes sense when you're in solos you're, you only have one person shooting at it and when you're in squads you have four people shooting at it so it does take more time to actually shoot it down supply drops now spawn twice as high and fall twice as fast so it's going to be seen from a further distance just because it spawns twice as high but it's still going to take the same time to fall because it's going to fall twice as fast makes sense and then we have some more bug fixes but we're not going to cover this you guys because there's a lot more to cover as you guys can see look at all this stuff there's just a lot of stuff to cover still and i know you guys want to see the important stuff so we're going to forget about all that we the clinger grenade i can't wait you guys stay tuned we're going to try and get a gameplay for you guys that's going to be the next video we're doing a double upload today and i might live stream tonight if you guys can actually like this video enough if we can get enough likes on the video i'm going to live stream tonight over at twitch.tv so guys stay tuned for that it'll be a lot of fun but let's talk about this meteor the new tilted towers is going to be destroyed the new area suggested comment might be hitting tilted towers tomorrow so basically with the patch version 3.6.0 a new area has been added on top of the building at tilted towers with signs lying around hinting towards the comments impact very soon so basically on the roof of one of the buildings in tilted towers look at this it has like a whole setup where people are just sitting outside waiting for the meteor to come basically the end of the world is here man everyone's just waiting for it to happen they're just relaxing and they're they're outside so they can actually look up in the sky 
and see it. One sign shows a city skyline surrounded by a heart likely portrayed tilted towers while another shows what appears to be a comet flying through the sky. So these are the two signs right here. We love tilted towers. That sign definitely makes sense. There's a lot of people that love tilted towers. They don't want it to happen. And then this is another one of the signs that you can actually find laying around. It's the meteor coming to destroy tilted towers. The most interesting sign in the one is the one below which has the text today crossed out replaced by tomorrow underneath. So this is one of the other signs you can find. It says today with X's on it or a scratch mark on it and it says tomorrow. So this could mean two things you guys. This could either mean one, the meteor was supposed to strike today, the day that we're watching this video, making this video, which is April 24th, 2018. It was supposed to happen today, but they replaced it to happen tomorrow, or this could mean one, or the other thing. They don't want it to come today. They want it to be tomorrow, basically saying, oh, you know, like you're going to do something like, oh, hey, I'm going to work out. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. You just keep extending it to I'll do it tomorrow, I'll keep do it tomorrow. Maybe the sign is just saying like, I'll do it tomorrow as in like it the next day it'll come the next day or the next day like they just don't want it to happen because they're just stretching it out you know they're, they're being lazy or like they just don't want it to happen they're saying like please not today tomorrow every day they're gonna say that i don't know if that makes sense to you guys but it made sense in my head completely um but through this only speculations it seems pretty likely we'll be seeing more news about the comet and the fate of the tilted towers tomorrow stay tuned so tomorrow guys you already know on this channel we're going to cover that immediately so if any news comes out make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new we're going to cover anything that happens with tilted towers if we have actually gameplay of it being destroyed you guys are going to see it first thing on this channel i promise you guys that so this is the one that a lot of people came here for is the new cosmetics in the game so basically upcoming cosmetics found in patch version 3.6.0 update names and rarities now listed thanks to storm shield one's cosmetic database okay so patch 3.6.0 data miners has revealed some new cosmetics coming to Fortnite. The following items are expected to release over the next few weeks. Basically, we have a Steel Sight Girl, which is epic. Uh, it's, it's it's nothing special. I don't care for it too much. It doesn't look like anything I would really care for. And then we have the Bright Gunner, which is the, the male version of the Bright Bomber, which is going to be sick. And he's going to have a back bling. It doesn't show it on this page, but you guys know the little backpack back bling that they always talked about? That's actually going to be on him, I think, which is really cool because, I mean, I'm definitely going to cop him, her, not so much but him yes 100% but this is cool to think guys a lot of people are kind of ignoring this but this is like a cyborg girl so does this mean like the future is going to maybe that's what season 4 is going to have is cyborgs like machine type characters in the game you never know man season 4 is coming out very soon they could be hinting towards something steel sight you never know you guys and then this is the backpack for the steel cast uh, and then we have the global pickaxe which is not loading for some reason let me try to refresh the page real quick see if that actually works to see if it'll actually show up all right it's not showing up but it's a global pickaxe if I can find a picture I will show it to you guys on screen right now but we're gonna cover something else I just saw this over here on Twitter Fortnite Battle Royale guys look at this this is a meteor uh, no, oh right here this is where it'll show the actual pickaxe so right here um, here's the bright bomber backpack that comes with the mail and then here's the global pickaxe uh, showing earth and all these other planets again it's got the space theme which is really cool I definitely like that a lot but we're gonna look at this one which it says data mining reveals media will be lootable like supply jobs does this mean we were all wrong about tilted towers this is is that what it means there has been much speculated I don't know why this ads right here I guess it's just there but um there's been much speculation about the meteor and comet ha that has been spotted in the sky previous data mining revealed comet in the files and there is a popular fan theory that it will destroy tilted towers at the end of the season which you can read about here in more recent updates we have seen it looking like a meteor shower so i guess two epic buddies the notorious fortnite data miners have discovered some sound files that pointed towards a new game mode involving meteors as well as information about what their use will be so again we've covered this before talking about how the meteor is going to have a new game mode um as you can see from the image above it looks like the meteor will fall land and break open two epic buddies mentioned in a tweet that they believe the meteors will hit cars with the new playlist game mode coming to the game called carmine they also go on to state that you'll be able to open the meteors like supply jobs the meteors could therefore replace the supply jobs for a limited time but only time will tell okay so basically the meteors are going to be like supply jobs in the game that they add um it might not destroy tilted towers it's just going to be a new game mode it might be a limited time only thing who knows man we have no clue what's going to happen epic games definitely has everyone 
on their feet about this you guys but if you guys want to stay tuned subscribe to the channel you guys you guys we're going to be covering anything special anything like that again if you guys want to see me live stream stay tuned you guys i'm going to be live streaming tonight so if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up and that will determine if i live stream tonight if you guys don't know i have a twitter follow me on twitter you'll know exactly what time i actually go live and where i go live at so guys with that being said it's exotic motion hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video peace